Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe and former Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's brother Anthony Rodham are facing a $17 million fraud lawsuit from Chinese investors in Greentech Automotive, an electric car company that appears to be struggling to survive. A group of 32 Chinese citizens filed the suit last week in Fairfax County, Virginia court, claiming that they were swindled out of about $560,000 apiece as a result of misrepresentations made by McAuliffe and Rodham, two of the most prominent and politically connected proponents of the venture aimed at manufacturing electric cars in the U.S. story continued below the suit is yet another headache for McAuliffe as he mulls a potential presidential bid in 2020, buoyed in part by Democrats' strong showing in the state in the election earlier this month. McAuliffe confirmed last year that his business dealings with foreign nationals were under investigation by the FBI and federal prosecutors. It's unclear whether the probe involved green tech or whether the inquiry is still ongoing. The Chinese investors plowed their money into green tech with a promise of winning permanent residency in the U.S. under a program that awards green cards to foreign-funded ventures that generate U.S. jobs. However, the suit contends that the investors now face the threat of deportation from the U.S. because the Department of Homeland Security has determined that green tech did not generate the number of jobs required to sustain the number of visas issued through the so-called EB-5 program. Plaintiffs now face the prospect of having to uproot their families once again, with the expense and stress of deportation to China looming before them, the suit says, accusing McAuliffe, Rodham, Greentech founder Charles Shaolin Wang and others of running a scam. McAuliffe and Rodham did several tours through China to seek investments in the electric car startup, the suit says. As brother-in-law of President Bill Clinton and as brother of the then-Secretary of State, Rodham appeared to serve as a means of attracting Chinese interest in the project. The suit contends that Rodham's involvement conveyed that the Electrica firm was politically connected and likely to prosper. Defendants milk these connections in marketing materials, the suit says. Defendants exploited those relationships to assure investors of both the success of the company and their ability to obtain U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services USCIS approval of the visa applications. A spokeswoman for McAuliffe, Crystal Carson, disputed the claims and noted that the governor gave up his role in the firm years ago. We strongly reject this baseless suit which has no merit whatsoever. The claims, which regurgitate old political attacks regarding a company that Governor McAuliffe left five years ago, were brought by a lawyer with conservative ties, Carson said. We are confident it will be dismissed. One of the attorneys who drafted the suit, Scott Abels of Los Angeles-based Gerard Fox Law, disputed any political motivation. By signing up you agree to receive email newsletters or alerts from Politico. You can unsubscribe at any time. I represented the Chamber of Commerce once or twice, I'm not a conservative dude, he said in an interview Tuesday. As McAuliffe prepared to run for Virginia governor, Greentech was a bright spot on his resume, combining entrepreneurial spirit with environmentalism in an effort to bring jobs to an impoverished area of Mississippi. A 2012 ribbon cutting for the Mississippi factory drew former President Bill Clinton and Mississippi Governor Haley Barber generated glowing press coverage. However, the firm soon ran into trouble finding its footing. Production was repeatedly delayed. Hiring for the assembly line fell well short of the 350 jobs promised. McAuliffe was once the largest individual investor in the company but stepped down as chairman in 2012 and sold his shares as he prepared to be sworn in as governor in 2014. Once McAuliffe took off his bad publicity for the firm kept coming. It emerged that the Securities and Exchange Commission had an investigation into the company, although no charges were ever brought. A Department of Homeland Security Inspector General report issued in 2015 said USCIS Director Alejandro Mayorkas created an appearance of favoritism and special access by responding to entreaties from McAuliffe and Rodham to speed up action on applications related to the project. The report did not accuse McAuliffe or Rodham of wrongdoing. The Mississippi factory apparently closed in January. In July, the state's auditor said Greentech's employment in the state peaked at 143 and the firm now owes the state $6.4 million for failing to up to promises it made to get a $5 million financing package from the government there. Earlier this month Attorney General Jim Hood D. Miss filed a lawsuit against the firm seeking about $3 million in damages, plus forfeiture of land used for the factory in Tunica.
Engels said the Chinese involved in his suit approached his firm as a group, although the group grew somewhat before the case was filed. We had done one or two of these EB-5 cases out there in California, he said. This group came to us. A key challenge for the investor's suit will be proving that McAuliffe, Rodham the Wang should be individually liable for any losses. Typically, use of a corporation to solicit investments makes it difficult to recover against the people involved, but Abel said the companies are little more than paper structures. As we see it, these people invested in Terry McAuliffe. They invested in Anthony Rodham. They invested in Charlie Wang, Abel said. More than the typical case, the individuals drove the bus here. Greentech did not respond to messages seeking comment for this story. Wang and Rodham could not be reached for comment.